The Secret Service pulls no punches, yet the underworld is strong and deadly. Can Jack Holt escape its fury? He posed as ex-convict Nick Farrell to capture a band of counterfeiters. He goes aboard their gambling ship headquarters, and while there, is suddenly discovered. Looks like we're gonna have quite a wait. You mind if I sit down? I don't care what you do. If you jump the rail, I'd still plug you. Thanks. I think he's done. For. We've got to do something quick. Those men are right behind me. Now, here they come now. Well, get out of sight. Get those boxes out of there. What happened here, Farrell? A fight. He jumped me, and like a sap, I let him get a hold of me, and over we came. Well, who is he? How do I know? He's one of my men. His name is Dixon. Bowden. Bowden. Uh, See what he's trying to say. What is it, Dixon? Count Spelton. There's a federal dick on board. Yes? Who is it? His name... His name is... Is... <sighs> speak, man. Speak! Make him talk. Make him talk! He's gone. He said there was a federal dick on board. I wonder who he meant. Well, why look at me? Because you're the one he tackled. Wait! I'm the man he was talking about. All right, Farrell, your game is up. I'm taking this man. He's wanted by the government. Dixon was my stooge. He was helping me set a trap to get Farrell. He evidently got wise and tried to knock him off. Looks like I did a pretty good job of it, too, the stool pigeon. Come on, Farrell, get up this ladder. Hurry up, hurry up. But officer, stay where you are. You're in trouble enough now for harboring a wanted man. He's right, I know when I'm like. No use getting in any deeper. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. All right, now what? On the upper deck, fast. What'll we do, Quist? That federal man might ruin us. Stop him, of course. If Farrell talks, we're sunk. The plate's gone forever. Get after him. It's a hot spot, Jack. He'll be after us in a minute. I know it. We gotta fool him. Wait a minute. Here, get in this boat. I'll take care of the rest. Let me have your hat. Where are they? Fighting on the upper deck. Sunk like a rock. What's that? Why, his hat. What do you think it was? Well, that settles that. There's nothing we can do about it. What about that double cross at Dixon? He's pulled his last double cross. He never came to again. Say, if there are any other double crosses aboard this tub, I might just as well take care of them now. Now, don't get excited, Farrell. We'll protect you. Dixon was money mad, I guess, after the reward on your head. What are you going to do with it? Eh, give him a sea burial later on so he can be with his pal, a federal dick. I'll take care of it. Well, what about me? You better go to your cabin. I'll send for you later. And get rid of that gun. All right, I'll wait in 204, but make it snappy. I'm hotter than a Chinese New Year. Boys, get back on the floor. Don't answer any questions and pass this off merely as a fight. Come on, we'll 
Take care of Dixon. a break. Nobody in the room seemed to notice anything. I hate to tell it. Well, you'd better. All right, come on. About time you've showed up. What was the trouble? Plenty. We had a run-in with a federal dick. Here on ship? Yes. Remember that new man, Dixon? He was the cause of it all. Well, come on, come on. Tell me all about it. Get into those things. Make it easy for you. Get away. Listen, I've been trying to get a chance to tell you. Kay's been kidnapped. What? I reported it. Headquarters is following it up. How did it happen? As we drove up on the dock tonight, I left Kay in the car while I went to phone and... And you led a federal man right here to this ship of all the dumb half-witted players. How was I to know Dixon had turned red? I thought... You thought? With what? Now we're in a jam. Farrell's aboard and he's too hot to have around. But we gotta have those plates. Sure. But make a deal with them. Promise them anything. Then, as soon as you get your hands on the plates, Wipe him out. All right, I'll get Farrell in here now. Watch yourself, Twist. Stands to reason, Jim. The crimp is going to use her as a lever to get the plates from me. Got any idea where he might have taken her? No, but she'll be safe. He'll see to that till he makes a deal. But how are you going to get in touch with him? I won't have to. He'll get in touch with me. I'm sure of it. There's a boat now. Take it easy. Just go aboard like a member of the crew. Better watch yourself, Davis. The boss is getting pretty riled up about that federal man getting aboard. What can I do? I don't know everyone. I'm just warning you. Shall I wait for you at the dock? No, I'll get in touch with you through headquarters if I need you. But that won't be until I have an airtight case. Wait there till I see if the coast is clear. Who is it? Me, Valvin. Open up. All right. I can't take any chances. That's all right. Come up to the boss's office. Everything's in the clear. All right. Wait a minute. If you got a gun on here, I'm a little nervous. Well, uh, I'll get you one later. Come on. Hope you had a little luck tonight. I'm glad you've come to my turn. Of course, you understand, I have to go ashore first to get those plates. And right now, it's not so good. Naturally. Well, you can lay low here for tonight and take the supply launch in the morning. And once you get ashore, stay clear of the ship until we find out if there's any kickback from this trouble tonight. Oh, I'm not so dumb. But just remember this. If you have me trailed when I go ashore for those goods, the deal is off and we're through. Don't worry, Farrell. We know which side our bread is buttered on. All right. Hey, how about that gun you promised me? Oh, oh yes. Uh, Mr. Quist, will you give him a gun? Thanks. I'll see you later. Why did you give him a gun for? Oh, I couldn't help it. I promised him a oh, gun. Oh, you're a fool. You're an idiot. I left better watch. Get ready to move. How's your memory today? Any better about where your husband has those plates hidden? I wish I did know. Living in this birdcage ain't funny anymore. I'll make you a proposition. I'm listening. Turn me loose, I'll find Nick and get him to make a deal with you for those plates. Smart girl. But your proposition's haywire. I don't need you. I know where Nick is. At the gambling ship. Right now, some of my men are waiting for him. He'll either lead him to the plates, or be grabbed and made talk. Says you. There's Farrell now. Shall we grab him? Next, let's wait and see what he does and tail him. Get going. Step on it, driver. I want to lose a buddy. Get the 
Okay. What is this? We thought you'd be interested in hearing about your wife. I am. Where is she? With Krim. Turn over the plates and he'll release her. Well, how do I know that you're not hijackers? I'll let you talk to Krim himself. On the phone. Okay, fair enough. Watch him. Stooges are here, but how do I know they ain't selling me a line? I'll convince it's on the level. I'll let you talk to her. Your hubby. Hello, Nick. It's about time you called. Yeah, Crimp Evans has me, all right. We're parked in a train. Satisfied? All right, Crimp. You win. I'll give him the plates. Ryan, her. Leave it to me. I'll get the plates. They're in there. Get ready to move as soon as those plates arrive. You get the other car ready to move. Here they come now. Wonder why they turned off there. Tom, go and find out and hurry. Something rotten in Denmark. That's Farrell coming. He's alone. He's got a gun, too. Tom, you and Ben hop in the trailer and get out of here. I don't want that girl around here now. We'll settle with Farrell. Okay, Chris. A cinch. Back to the car, quick!
walking into a trap. Will Stu warn them, or has he an evil plan of his own? And what about Shorty? Will the Secret Service discover his double dealings? Don't miss Out of the Past, next dynamic chapter of Hold of the Secret Service.